This is Alim from Javelin playing with another new toy introduced by SOLIDWORKS 2013 Service Pack 2. This time I'll be showing you what's new with the view selector. The first part of this video uh, uses SOLIDWORKS 2013 Service Pack 0. So if you remember in Service Pack 0 and Service Pack 1, once you invoke the view selector, which can be done also by uh, pressing Ctrl and Space, you'll get the view selector. Very useful for changing the viewport to non-standard orientations. That being said, there were two facets of this cube that were not pickable in Service Pack 0 and Service Pack 1. As you can see, I cannot pick the back, uh, the back face and I cannot pick also the, uh, the hex on the, on the back, so the back chamfer and the hex. Um, allow me to stop right now, I'm just going to pause upgrade to service pack 2 and I'll show you how this problem has been solved in service pack 2. Okay, I am back after upgrading to service pack 2. So let's see again how the view selector works in the new service pack. So I'm going to press again control space to get the view selector and let's try now to select the back faces. Right now, if you press the Alt key as a modifier, as you can see, I can select the back faces without any problem. So let's try to select the previously unselectable back face. <laughs> let's try also to select the previous unselectable hex. So I'm pressing Alt when I do my selection and everything works fine. Thank you very much.